your first alert five weather with Alan Rose and welcome back everyone still watching the radar tonight. I'll show you where the rain is falling and where it's expected to move towards over the next couple of hours, but let's take you back about 24 hours. A pretty exciting Friday in Southern Colorado spring storms with plenty of lightning and some hail all across parts of the springs in El Paso County. Look at this photo hail thunderstorms and a rainbow all together all at once. This photo taken in northeastern El Paso County in Payton. We also have this photo of the double rainbow in the spring sent in by Erin and this one I've got to say is probably my favorite. <laughs> She's literally tasting the rainbow. <laughs> Not to promote Skittles, but right? Isn't that their, their slogan they used back in the early 2000s? This one sent in by Kate. Just love this picture. If you have any of those photos from the double rainbow or the thunderstorms you've seen yesterday or this weekend, send them to us on News 5. It's KOA 5 on our Facebook page. As we switch gears and look at the radar and what's happening outside right now, still seeing some thunderstorms skirting the New Mexico Colorado state line, beginning to get some activity moving off of the wet mountains and some rainfall coming off the Rampart Range here. You can see Highway 24 getting some pretty good showers between Colorado Springs up through Manitou, Cascade, up towards Woodland Park and getting some light rain here on the north side of town out towards the Rock Rim area as well up north and east out towards Black Forest. So likely getting some rain across parts of the Pikes Peak region. That's going to continue the model really initializing quite well, showing where the rain is right now and where it's heading. I think later on tonight we'll get another burst of rain that moves in off the mountain areas, probably between 8 and midnight. Then as we head past midnight, I think most of that rain activity will eventually wind down. So here's what we saw today in the springs. Managed to hit a high of 70 after a low of 47 for Pueblo. The numbers today 53 and 80. Right now, temperatures holding steady in the upper 70s in Pueblo, upper 70s La Junta. We have 73 Canyon City, 66 in the Springs, and 63 in Monument. As we look at your Sunday forecast, we're going to tack on about, I think, 5 to maybe 10 degrees to our daytime highs. That'll put us into the 70s and 80s. Should see a fair amount of sunshine heading into the afternoon, but then the clouds build back up late in the day with some evening showers once again possible. So we'll start out with some leftover cloud cover from tonight's activity. And then again, you see it clear away out east into the plains by noon looking pretty good. Then heading towards late afternoon into the evening hours. Another round of some spotty to isolated shower activity. Probably won't see as much as what we've seen the past couple of days. And as we head into next week, things take a turn for the drier and hotter weather pattern here. This could be a stretch of about two to three days with some hotter temperatures before cooler weather does move back in heading towards the end of next week. So overnight lows tonight will drop down to the 50s around oh, the springs out east. I should say Pueblo out east towards La Junta and Springfield 45 for the springs tonight. 38 be pretty chilly in Woodland Park. Tomorrow Woodland Park rebounds to the upper 60s. Monument around 69 the springs at 76 and Take a look at this warm spell. Monday into Tuesday, highs are going to be in the mid 80s, likely staying dry most of next week with fire danger, a concern here in southern Colorado. Pueblo, after tomorrow's activity, hot temperatures Monday into Tuesday, highs in the 90s. Still pretty warm out there Wednesday and Thursday, but some relief is on the way. Canyon City, we go from 80 to 90, still in the upper 80s with wind on Tuesday. That's something we'll be watching closely as that windy weather and the heightened fire weather risk continues at least through the middle of next week. Woodland Park, a few chances for rain showers here, at least in the mountain areas, a little more instability to work with. Sunday into Tuesday, the days we're watching, along with that, some warmer springtime temperatures. And